on the shore of Pennsville, New Jersey, overlooking the Delaware River. Delaware on the other side. Here in New Jersey, I guess it's striped bass versus rockfish, all depending on how you look at things. I'm Jim Hutchinson with the New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine. And everyone throughout the region, Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, all eyes are on the lookout for those striped fish. The striped bass run has begun and it's going to drive so many people along the river here. I'm sure there's going to be some catches, blood worms, guys using eels, chunked herring. But of course, the big news is on the other side of the state, on the Atlantic, the big report this week was from Kevin Morrison. He had a 48 and three quarter pound striper that he kayaked behind Island Beach State Park last Saturday using live eel, brought that fish into Murphy's Hook House. The big story, the big catch of the week. Uh, congratulations, Kevin puts his time in quite a bit. Understand there's quite a few fillets for the family and a few in the freezer as well, he told a local paper this week. Apparently the kids love fish. Uh, the folks at Mur Murphy's Hook House are reporting this week there's a scattering of blues along the front. They're chasing mullet and a few guys are fishing for striped bass at night along the beaches. That's a good sign. We had our first LBI Classic weigh-in uh, over the inaugural kickoff weekend and congratulations go out to Merle Van Leer. He had a 45 inch 34 pound striper, the first one of the tournament. Not only is that the leading fish so far, it's been a uh, relatively quiet week so far, but he took a $500 bounty for top fish for the first weekend. Also got an autographed Eagles football thanks to Margaret at Jingles. So the classic continues. You can check out LBIFT.com. Again, it's been a slow week in the suds along the LBI surf front and I'm surprised at that because I thought there'd be more weigh-ins but one of the things is a lot of guys are looking at the TOG. Still just a one fish bag limit but the jetty jockeys have been doing real well filling that bag limit really quickly. Action has been off the hook from some of the people that I've talked to at Barnegat Light. Um, a lot of the jetty fronts, of course, Atlantic City's T-Jetty has been simply amazing ever since we got the one fish bag limit back. Uh, the folks at One Stop Bait and Tackle report another tog or two taken all the time, almost every day. Also at the bridges, the jetty structure down in South Jersey, Townsend Inlet Bridge has been producing. Dunk and Rick here brought in a couple of tog to Avalon Hodgepodge. And so many of the tackle shops are all geared up for the TOG action, loaded with green crabs. I saw 24-7 in Egg Harbor Township just had oodles and oodles of green crabs. So get out there and look for the green crabs. And really, if you're looking for a quick hookup and a great meal, uh, the jetties have been alive. Bob Misak is our South Jersey field editor, and he tells me one of the thoughts that he had was when we get a lot of that east-northeast wind like we had a couple of weeks ago, drive some of those tog inshore to find a little quiet structure. If that's the case, get out there now with the green crabs and hook them up uh, before they start moving to some of that easternmost structure. And if you like big tog, take a look at Togzilla here. You're going to have to go check this out. A Connecticut record um, catch was registered on Wednesday. Go to thefisherman.com and take a look at that sucker. I know Kenny Westerfeld got a little nervous when he heard about this. Some drum are on the move as well. We've got some black drum reports, uh, some puppy drum in the back on chum pot fishing. Um, also, Dar Darrell Ward, uh, I'm sorry, Darrell Ward here. He came uh, into Grumpy's bait and tackle earlier this week. He was clamming in the surf for striped bass and took this 18.35 pound black drum. More black drum catches. Um, we do have a couple of recent additions to the New Jersey Fisherman uh, Dream Boat Leaderboard. Congratulations to these guys. Sean Serafin recently took a 21.15 pound bluefish. Nicely done. And perennial leaderboard winner uh, Phil LaGrosa also registered a 20.5 pound bluefish. And if you are looking for the bluefish, there are some big hogs out there. They've been out around the mud hole and uh, Barnegat Ridge, I believe, uh, a couple of catches there. But a lot of the party boats are getting out for some giants. We are talking 15 to 20 pound bluefish, especially along the central and north Jersey coast. Party boats like the Miss Belmar Princess, the Norma Kay, Golden Eagle, Susie Girl, Paramount, they're all getting out there on some of this bluefish action. If you're looking to get onto that dream boat leaderboard, I would suggest you consult a professional. If you're looking for party boat tuna, the guys are sailing for party boat tuna as well. The Miss Jim, uh, the Big Jamaica, the Gambler, the Mimi Six, the Miss Barnegat Light. So many party boats, the central and north Jersey coastline are getting out there and looking for them. Ilan Martinez had a whopper of a catch, a 250 pound big eye that he caught aboard the Gambler last week three and a half hour fight on this single fish. He was using a custom riverboat rod and an Avid MXL Raptor reel. Really put the boots to him. 
I don't know if he put the boots to the uh, big eye or the big eye put the boots to Illin, but congratulations. Some other boats also getting offshore, not just the tuna and the swordfish, but Captain John Lewis of the Insatiable out of Barnegat Light headed offshore looking for some blue line tile fish and did well and kept busy at the cleaning table. The offshore weather forecast for the weekend doesn't look solid, however. It's a little bit sketchy. Three to five Friday, uh, building to four to seven into Saturday. Uh, a stiff 20 to 25 knot breeze uh, faces you offshore too. So the window is a very tight one. Uh, if you don't get your opportunity this weekend, look towards the beginning of next, next week. Hopefully things will change. Inshore weather doesn't look as, uh, as nice either. It looks a lot of, lot of northwest wind coming at us through Sunday night. But hopefully that gets some of the bait on the move, and that's something we're all looking forward to. So some of that northwest wind getting the bait moving. Speaking of bait, let me bait you into this one. Uh, the big Giants-Eagles game coming up on Monday night. Uh, Captain Eddie Yates had a few Eagles and former Eagles out this week on a couple of different trips. It included Big John Runyon, who was out on the, the Hunter earlier this week. Uh, believe it or not, they reported nonstop action on weak fish and also speckled trout right off the beaches of LBI. Told me of some, uh, I heard of some red snapper catches down out of Cape, I'm serious, red snapper out of Cape May as well. That's what happens with all this abundance. We have abundant sea bass with that season getting ready to start in the week ahead. Uh, we have abundance, we have action. It's game on, the fall is underway. Make sure you get out there and wet a line. Don't forget, make sure you're a subscriber to the Fisherman Magazine so you can enter our Dream Boat Contest. All you need is a big fish, and you could be walking away with a cobia next year. Until next week, we'll see you at the Fisherman Magazine and here at thefisherman.com. To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to the Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked send me updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.